In this video, I'll show you how I built the dashboard for the Seed Studio Reterminal full color e paper display using two different methods SenseCraft HMI with its drag and drop designer and online deploy, and SquareLine Vision for a more controlled and customized UI. You can find all the board details on the Seed Studio product page. Usually I receive boards from various manufacturers and makers through collaborations, but this one I got from a giveaway hosted on Seed Studio's Instagram. The board comes pre-flashed with SenseCraft HMI firmware, but I replaced the firmware with my own custom code. Updating or reflashing the firmware is super easy using the SenseCraft website. Once flashing is completed, I connected to the re-terminal access point and set up the Wi-Fi. I've already added the board. First time setup, you can add the device in your workspace. The re-terminal wiki page is a great place to learn more about it. Uh, the SenseCraft HMI portal is a simple drag and drop editor with basic widgets. In the page list, it's easy to add or remove pages. The built-in AI layout generator is a great tool for creating custom layouts. Before deploying, press the refresh button on the board. This will bring the board online and update it with the newly created page. The data widget is useful for fetching and displaying JSON files. With the JavaScript transform function, data can be presented in a much better way. Uh, using the device widgets, it's easy to display battery percentage, internal temperature, uh, and humidity sensor values. Using the web content page, it's possible to display any web page. Uh, to use this feature, I created an HTML weather dashboard and published it on GitHub, but it took some time to load the page, which caused issues showing the custom page on the display. So I created a Python file to generate a JPG file every 15 minutes, and then the JPG file is shown on the display. This solved the issue. The HTML dashboard is available on my GitHub. It's easy to customize and deploy from anywhere. I used a windy iframe to show the map. I also tried the AccuWeather radar map. The map parameters can be adjusted in the URL and it gives a rendered JPG as the output. For SquareLine Vision, I used the demo project provided by Seed Studio. It's a great way to understand how the SquareLine Vision interface works and to get started quickly. To create a new project, it's easy. The reterminal board is already available in the new project window, 
and it includes all the libraries and board setup files. I created a light version of the weather dashboard to try out Squareline Vision. If you want to see more UI design videos using Squareline Vision, let me know in the comments. Once everything looked good, I exported the template project. The template project is optimized for the Arduino IDE, so I renamed the files and folders to work properly with Platform.io. The Seed Studio Wiki explains very well how to set up the Platform.io IDE. I downloaded the project files, including platformio.ini and the other necessary files. Then I copied the necessary files into the template project generated by Squareline Vision. I opened the folder in VS Code, then built and uploaded the project. The first build had some errors, but after some searching and fixes, I managed to flash it successfully. Some details were missing, so I fine-tuned the project in Squareline Vision and reflashed it. The UI is ready, and I plan to add the logic part later. I updated the UI provided by Seed Studio with my own details and flashed it. The UI looks nice, but I prefer a white theme for the e-paper display. If you like this video, consider supporting it.